Today we are taking a look at the Art SGE Mach 2. Uh, this was, came out, you know, post Top Gun era. So when you wanted something to be cool, you had to add Mach 2 to it. Um, you know, later things become like X. X became a big thing and I and uh, Turbo, all that stuff. But Mach 2 was as cool as it got. And then if you want some like pink clown makeup paint on it and stuff, then you really got something. Uh, I wanted this so bad when I was a kid. I saw it in magazine ads. It had like, I don't know, 29 effects and you could run them all at once. So that seemed like the best thing you could possibly have, right? Uh, it's like full page ad. Like, check it out. Can your effects do that? But uh, let's see how it actually holds up. The way I'm running this is uh, the Bogner Fish preamp. I'm going directly into the uh, Art SGX because there's a little blend knob over here. So if you see me scooching this over, I'm doing like a wet dry thing. And they have actually a pretty clever setup to if you go all the way, what would normally be uh, bypass, you know, dry, they allow the uh, compression, gate, and distortion effects to still be active. Uh, distortion effects, you say? Yes, here's a weird thing about this unit. It's like it was designed for the four cable method, before four cable method, and they hadn't figured it out yet. So there's only two cable uh, access to it but there's distortion and stuff. So you could uh, go into this, into a Fender Twin, and have full 80s leads. Or, the way I have it set up, I'm in a clean channel, and then all of a sudden, there'll be all this distortion on top of your clean channel. Uh, I guess, you know, they were doing the best they could. So it's going the fish to the ART, into the DAW, just like directly in, and I'm throwing in my, uh, my IRs on top of that. And so, that's what we got. Let's take a listen. really long delay from the note to where the octave comes in. Long latency there.
that's that ART like weird room reverb that it's like half room, half chorus, all exciter in a weird way, but I like that. <laughs> The first thing that's like pretty good. It's not worth the time to dig in and turn off the echo, really, honestly. Jazz Hall. What kind of crappy Jazz Hall is that? Why is there distortion in this patch? Leak. Blues Hall. Oh. 
This is how long that latency is. Chicken pluck. Oh, uh, sorry. This, uh, I did that review on that, um, SGX 2000, I think it was called. Those effects held up. These effects are real rough. Fuzz. This is a clean sound. No. I'm sorry, I'm covering this because I'm just so depressed. Reverb number one hall. This is the number one hall. Ugh, it's, it's real horrible. There's so little to like about this. <laughs> The nicest thing in here. Choir, lo-fi, reverb. That's what it took. Lo-fi. 